lot of work that just got dumped out. Hello guys, this is Francis. We are, we have a busy day ahead of us. Busy week. We actually just got over the Lord of the Rings party and um, we are going to use some of those decorations to prepare for the Winnie the Pooh party. But in the meantime, we are preparing gardens. So you can see our garden. We're going to end up putting tomatoes along this fence line. But we have all this space. We moved the pigs over on the other side and they really prepared the ground for us. Um, we're going to layer this straw maybe thicker and then put the boxes in different spots and put compost topsoil on top. In the guard, uh, orchard over here, you can see, once again, the pigs kind of tilled up this whole area, which I won't do too much with because it's the entry of the orchard, but this area looks like I could put more down. Um, we might end up putting more over here. These strawberries aren't as densely planted as they could be. And there's quite a few weeds in there. So I might be able to put some plants in the strawberries. And this whole area is actually, well, this is weeds, but um, I'm hoping to put pumpkins in here. We put, when we did butchering with chickens last year, we buried all the guts in here. So this should be really nutrient dense stuff for like a squash, winter squashes. And then I might extend the aisles over there if I still have dirt afterwards. So you might be wondering like, why am I going crazy? We have some good garden spaces now. Well, I'll tell you, we went to Kroger and they were out of organic produce. And then later that day, I was listening to a podcast from Dr. Natasha and every kind of produce from the grocery store, organic or not, has traces of Roundup. So I was like, we have this space. I have my energy back. Let's just build some more gardens. It's the beginning of May. We keep getting cold weather. I don't feel like I've planted out everything and I'm tired of planting it. So I'm going to show you how we start new garden beds. Um, and look, I want to show you this. Somehow we finally, after four years, these are all little baby peaches. We have a ton. Yeah, it looks like a ton, but it's actually perfectly spaced because I would have had to thin them. Uh, actually nine. Actually, are there some down here? Oh, this must be a baby peach. There's another one. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Hey, more peaches on this tree, guys. So this is like perfect motivation when we're getting ready to do tons of work in gardens. Look at these blackberry bushes. These are amazing. No, they. Yeah, that's why. I so I think the pigs will be fine in there. No, no flowers on these yet, so we still got a while. Although, uh, no. Yep. Yeah, you're supposed to move, push the old canes down. Well, I'll get that later. Let's work on what we came down here to work on. Oh, you think I have food for you? I'm sorry. Hi Heidi. Somebody that one right there is trying to eat me. I think <laughs> they think we have food for them. All right. So what we're doing is anywhere there's weeds poking through, we're throwing some extra straw. I have from a different spot on top of it, and then we're also filling in the heavier weeded areas with our feed bags we've been saving up and or cardboard. Um. I'm trying to save the cardboard for areas in the orchard where the grass is thick. <clears throat> but after this, we will make aisles of dirt and it'll look much more like a garden. <laughs> Let me see it. Show how big it is. Holy cow, it looks like a snake. That's a worm. We moved a box over here and this is why we don't do vermiculture bins because we just use animals to fertilize the soil. No, you. And the worms welcome themselves to a nice new home. And then our plants have plenty of nutrition. This soil mix that we bought is actually half compost, half topsoil. 
Um, to be honest, I didn't buy it for the compost, but it's nice having some sort of a softer medium to plant in because this is mostly clay. As you can see, it's very sticky. It's very sticky. So, um, oh, there's so many. I know that's crazy. Anyways, so let's continue on. So I'm gonna get under the idea of this thing is it can kind of scoop underneath the roots and really help you remove the plants easy. I don't feel we hit it. Um, and I want to plant potatoes here. This was a, a nice leftover compost from what we did last fall and um, it's really deep and potatoes need really deep soil to get a good harvest so i'm putting my storage potatoes over here and planting the other potatoes in the garden um because hopefully by winter time we'll be able to have some potatoes again obviously we're not eating them now but Sometimes I just go to the greenhouse and I can't help myself. Got all my little helpers down there. We all just finished from our lunch break. And I guess I wanted to share with you how our kids help. Why do they help? Well, first of all, we don't have much technology in our house. We don't have a TV. They can use a Chromebook when they ask for, um, it's more for typing or writing documents. We don't play video games. Um, and they also, <clears throat> they have, we have a certain level of chores that they actually, you know, it's just part of being in the family. Everybody has to help. Um, I do stuff, they do stuff. But these two girls, especially, and everyone has the um, offer, but they're gonna get paid after that amount, that quota is fulfilled for any extra work that they wanna do. So I'm gonna pay them per hour so they can buy some fun things that they wanna buy. Oh, I don't think that's quite how we're supposed to do it. Are you having fun? Are you helping Mary? Wow, good job, you did that? Can I see you? I'm going to Look at me. Alex. Yeah, I'm going to open it. Good job. Let me see. Good job. Alex. All right, guys. So we finished potatoes and onions over there. We're going to leave a little aisle. If I had wood chips, I'd probably box that up. If I had boxes, too. I don't, I'm running out of boxes. And make a nice aisle way to come out this way. I'm going to make a few more aisles of dirt. But I'm going to go take a break now. It's been about midday. Always yeah. remember, yeah, you're the best. Yeah. Look at me. And you're beautiful. I'm beautiful. <laughs> Smiles.